Hello, Alina from Exomate Mastery here, and today I'd like to talk about the exterior level tab that's showing up in Sketch. And I actually, I didn't know it was there until someone pointed it out to me here on YouTube asking about it. So I actually don't know when they added it, but it looks like it's on all platforms, whether you have Desktop 28, Online 28, X1, uh, so on and so forth. Looks like they've added it across the board. So let's go take a look at this exterior level tab and uh, see what it's all about and how we can use it here in Xactimate. Here I am, I'm already in an estimate. I'm in the sketch tab of the estimate and I'm using the online version for this. If you go down to where it says main level underneath the sketch palette or the sketch area, you right click on main level and you get properties. So these properties are going to be different than if you just right click out in blank space. So be sure that you're on the main level tab just to ensure that you're getting the right properties here. If we go to the uh, right click and pull up the properties menu, you can see add exterior level here. When I click add exterior, it adds this new tab right next to main level. And if you right click and go back to properties here, you can see that the elevation is 100, the same as the main level. It makes sense that it would be at the elevation 100 because it's mimicking the outside of the home. But I just found that to be interesting that they were both on the same plane as it seems like it's redundant here. So let's take a look at the differences. Over here in the main level tab, I have access to the room tool and uh, all my tools pretty much that I'm used to using are available. But if you go over to exterior, notice that my room tool, my staircase, doorway, all this is, is missing at the moment. And exterior, what used to be the wall tool is now the exterior tool. Also where you still have access to the deck and the fence because those are two exterior items. I found that very interesting. So we can grab the exterior here and it's going to just allow me to draw a wall. If you notice, it just has a line. It doesn't appear to have thickness like it would over in if we were using the room tool. So now that I have the lines drawn, if I try to hit three for 3D, it just gives me this box. So as you can see, there's no thickness to the walls like there would be over in the main level if we had a room drawn over here in the main level. Um, it's interesting that the room wants to snap to those exterior walls I just built over the exterior tab. So that's an interesting action that Xactimate's doing on its own. Uh, just to drive this home, if you look at your 3D model of a room, you can see there's thickness to those walls and it appears to have an interior floor. Um, you've got your interior walls and then your exterior walls. If you're over here in the exterior tab, it appears that you have interior, maybe access to interior walls here, but there's no thickness. So it wouldn't be the right dimensions because there's usually insulation on the exterior walls of the home. So this is just a box with no floor and probably no ceiling attached to it either. It's just for allowing for the materials on the exterior of the home. And I assume this is probably used for those that just need to scope two elevations, maybe three elevations, maybe only one elevation. If there was hail damage to maybe just one elevation's worth of siding, they may want to use this just to scope just one elevation and then if there was interior damage you would use the room tool. So I haven't really found a very good practical reason to use this exterior tab yet. I've been kind of just messing around with it in the past week thinking about how we could use this but there's not really a major difference than me going ahead and adding the sighting here in the wall elevation view, which is your number two on your keyboard, you can see just the 2D flat surface of the exterior of the main level or a room that you've sketched or a floor plan if you have multiple rooms. So why the 2D is any different than looking at the exterior this way, I haven't really figured out. So it's um, been an interesting time thinking, racking my brain. I'm thinking maybe just if you are only using the exterior of the home or only having to scope the exterior of the home, maybe that's the practical aspect. You would be able to delete the main level and just deal with the exterior level. Also, you can go ahead and build fences out here, but you can also do this over on the main level as well. So you can also um, put the fence in here. So again, it's not much different than what we're dealing with over there in the main level 
tab from my experience. So if you know any better, if you've used this exterior tab and you're having some success with it, you have figured out how it's so much better or different than using the main level tab to sketch, I would love to hear your comments down below. Please comment and let me know your thoughts. I did notice that once I added a surface, I could then add doorways. That was one thing that was interesting to me. The doorway tool was grayed out before I add a surface, so I thought that was kind of interesting. You can add the doorway here um, in 3D if you need it to, and the windows as well. So it acts pretty much just like I said, like the exterior walls of the main level room. It just doesn't have any thickness to it, which I find interesting. So please comment below if you can think of a great way, a good reason to use this exterior new tab that we're seeing here in Xactimate. Also, just as a bonus here, well, not really a bonus for us that have been using Xactimate forever, but just to let you guys know, they have changed the print to reports up here in the top right. So if you're looking for print, well, they've just changed the verbiage because, you know, that's really important. That's one change that we really needed here in Xactimate, Mr. Programmers. Just kidding. I don't want to be negative, but it's just funny that after all these years, they've changed print to reports while there's all these other glitches going on in the program. So I just found that to be funny. Just to let you guys know that print is still available. They just rebranded it as reports in the online version and also in the X1 version. It still says print in the desktop version 20 as of today, but just wanted to let you guys know they made that interesting change here in our online and X1 versions. If you like this topic, please be sure to like this video and also subscribe. We update this channel every week. Also comment below if you have any questions on this, can think of any good reason to use it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. For more information on Xmate Mastery, what we do here, tra Xactimate training for contractors, go to my website at xmatemastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.